Good right morning, guys. Welcome to Saturday. Saturday is the day that I sleep in. Last night we put the goats to bed last night so late. And they were mad. And I was like, don't worry, I'm sleeping in tomorrow. So it's 7.30 a.m. And nobody's happy. But Posey ate all her food, drank all her water, and has a pep in her step. You feeling good, girl? I'm so thankful that we caught her getting sick so quickly. I'm so thankful that she's still here. Like with pigs, can go pigs and goats, it can go downhill really quick. One thing about me though is I notice I notice I notice stuff fast. I notice stuff fast for me, and I notice stuff fast for my kids, and I notice stuff fast for my animals. Out you go. Oh shoot. I'm just so happy that Posey's doing better. Like, it's not very often that our animals get sick. Rare, very rarely, actually. It's true that she wanders the whole farm and that's gonna end soon when the snow comes. And honestly, she can get into anything. You guys, do you hear that? Do you hear it? Sorry, come on, out you go. Out you go, Chubbo. Out you go. Get out there. Here's your fresh water. Drink this. Do you hear it? Every time something exciting happens on the farm, like new birth, I always want Sophie to be with me because she's like me and she appreciates it. So I'm going to look, but then I'm going to pretend I didn't and let Sophie experience this later today. She's like, get away. I hear something under you, little chicken. Just let us look. We just want to look for a second. Oh, it's not out yet. Did you guys, did you guys hear it though? There's an egg. There's an egg chirping. All right, well, <laughs> it's screaming. Where is it? One of these eggs. You guys, I found it. It's an egg that's almost pipped. All right, we're gonna leave her. It sounds like it's about to hatch, you guys. And she's like, hmm, I need to eat. But anyway, we're gonna leave them and come back in a couple hours and check and see if we have any new baby chicks on the farm. How beautiful is that though? Like how beautiful is it to experience life, brand new life? I do not know how it's going to work though. <laughs> Her living in here with a bunch of chicks and a cat and a bunch of goats and some pigs. Here, let me freshen your water. Oh. oh. I'm just showing them. So I put a bunch of straw around like this thing here and over here to make it so that it's like a lot less likely that any baby chicks would fall out. Because that's my biggest concern. Go ahead, you lay on those chicks. <laughs> Hi, piggy. Get away from the goat food, I mean. This little pig tries to eat the goat food every morning. Both my pigs do. There's a guy across the field who rides his bike through the field over and over and over. How genius is that? Like, if you needed to get fit, and to be honest, we all need to get fit. Sophie's finally up, and we got another baby chick in our incubator, and I told Sophie that I heard chirping down in the goat barn, and she said, let's go, let's go right now. We wanna make sure that they don't fall, we wanna make sure that they don't fall through the crack. Um, also, no dogs. Okay. I hope there's a white one. Yeah, at least hopefully all the ones we have now are silver or black. I let Posey out today because she seemed a lot better. So I want to check on her too. I love being out. I love being, I love having our animals at home so that we can just check on them constantly. Hello, big guy. <laughs> I'm going to do your feet today. <sighs> Hurry. We're going in. Uh oh, hold on. I, wait, I got a goat. Get out there and a pig. Okay. We're going in the stall. Okay, in the stall. All right, so we are so excited. I put some hay there and I put some hay here because I was worried. Are you gonna be meaner now? Shoot, we forgot to bring cat food down. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, oh. oh it's, so, <laughs> it's cute. so cute! Oh 
Oh my god. How many toes does it have? A normal amount, thank god. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have a silky cross rooster that's awful. This might be a bard rock. No, it's... mixed bard rock because... It's so cute! Oh my goodness! Come on now, isn't that, and it's almost fluffing up already. Oh my god. And it's gonna lay blue or green egg, blue eggs. What color eggs did it come from? Oh, it looks like a little girl. Hopefully. You're so cute. That is so cute. You're so cute. Oh my gosh. You guys, just wait. <laughs> she's just like, she's just like totally chill. <laughs> she's so, it's a girl. Boys, wait, boys, don't act like this. You're so cute. Oh my goodness. So adorable. Here, hold her up. I wanted. What? I got what I wanted. Yeah, so you know what we did wrong? We got all those brown eggs. Pink. Pink. We took all the pink eggs. Oh, it's a blue egg. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> all right. So it was a blue egg. So it's going to be a blue egg layer if it's a girl. What good mother pushed the eggs out. What a cute baby. I love that it's like black and white. Oh, uh, no. God. We've had ones like that it's before. It's going to be a barred rock. We've had ones like that before. It's, if it's a barred rock, I'm keeping it. Well, if it's a girl. I mean, we wanted to sell all the babies. Oh, it's a Not Easter this. egger for sure. It's got those puffy cheeks. <laughs> Blue egg leg. Egg. Okay, let's check the rest of the eggs. Okay, you pick mom up. All right, so we looked underneath there, and there's another egg pipping. So that means there are going to be two babies under her soon. So the problem is, how are we gonna, where are we going to put them? We can't leave them in there. Let them run the barn. Like because her. they have to be able to eat. I know, but the cat... Where are we going to... The we... cat's normally never here. In winter, he's going to be in his little mouse house. Okay, so I wanted to tell you guys about our, our girl goats. We're going to go check on Posey, but while we're on our way, I wanted to tell you guys about what we've been doing differently this year with our breeding goats. What? What is your problem? Is there a bug on you? Oh, you've been swimming. So, last year we tried this thing called flushing. I keep forgetting what it's called, but it's called flushing. And essentially what it means is giving your goats new extra, better nutrition before you breed them. So, we did that last year, and it worked really well in terms of our goats all had a really good number of... All of our goats had two babies or three, and that's really good. They were young, and they weren't in the best shape when we bought them. With the exception of one a goat that was a little bit young, so she only had one baby. But anyways, what I didn't realize with flushing is that not only are you supposed to increase the level of nutrition, like you make sure that they get more nutrition, you're also supposed to increase the amount of food they get. I always worry about feeding our goats too much grain. But this year, we did that. Sophie did it. She increased... So we increased the nutrition level and we increased... The amount of grain, I already noticed a huge difference. <laughs> wow, it's easy to find her. She sometimes comes up here and sleeps up here. Hi, how are you feeling? Are you stuck? Go get a carrot and we'll see if she'll eat it. Look at these eggs. Oh my gosh, more eggs. Those are the eggs that we have in our incubator and they're giving us all black chicks. So from now on, and gray, black and gray. From now on, we're gonna hatch just the blues and the greens. Well, these light pink eggs. If they're girls, they're little pink eggs, so we need these too. Well, we have a bunch. All right, go get a carrot. Go get a carrot, and we're gonna see if Posey's feeling wet better. She seems fine. I don't know why she's up here, though. I need to trim your feet a little bit better. Sam often finds her, like, during the day after she goes and she eats, she'll come up here and make a bed. I don't know why you guys are in there. I hate when you guys are all in a small space together. All right. If she eats this. <laughs> it's a good sign, but I don't think she likes carrots, to be honest. Do you like it? I don't think she knows what to do with it. Hold on. Drank all of her water all night. She ate all of her breakfast, all of her food. 
So I think she's doing much better. We're still gonna give her her shot today. Here she comes. Here she comes, my little piggy. The lady is so smart. She was over there with the other horses. She saw us come in here and she's like, I'll be right there. And she went all the way around, came running in to see Sophie. It's been a couple days since we've done stuff with our horses. It's because uh, we had a different farrier. Their feet are all a little bit short and I just want to make sure that they are okay before we start working with them. Her little forelock is so funny. I love it. I'm gonna have to braid it next show though. I'll we'll give this to Gracie. Because Gracie's always at the back of the line. She never gets anything. Are you feeling better, Posy Pig? <laughs> She's the cutest pig. She's just staring at the horses. <laughs> Sophie's gonna get an apple so we can do an actual test. We're gonna show you guys what the test is to see if your pig is feeling better. But number one sign that she's feeling better is that swinging tail. It's not swinging now, but a second ago, there it goes. That is a sign of a healthy, happy pig. <laughs> All right, so Sophie got an apple and that's how you test to see if your, if your pig is off food, then you know that there's something going on because pigs love to eat so much. That's how the expression fat pig came into place. I know. I've been noticing so many expressions. Are, all expressions are made from um, in the past. Sometimes I sit down there with the boy goats, and they, I sit there, and they go behind me, and they stab me in, their, in the back with their horns. And it feels so good. I just sit there and let them do it. And then I'm like, stop stabbing me in the back. And I'm like, yeah, that's an expression. I notice a lot of expressions are made from horses, too. But a lot are made from goats. Posey's looking good. See that little tail? She's like, hey, you got more? <laughs> and then there's Lady again. She left because Sophie left to get an apple and then <laughs> suddenly she popped up again on the other side. She's like, there you are. It's funny because she never lets us just pet her and stuff. She never lets me pet her. She lets Sophie do whatever she wants to her. She does whatever I want. She does whatever Sophie wants. But Honey, like, even though she's such a brat, it makes me realize how friendly Honey is because Honey, you can do anything with. You just walk up to her and she's like putty in your hands. And it doesn't matter who you are. She lets anybody touch her. Yes, you are really cute. I love you. I love crooked stripes. I love everything different. It doesn't have to be beautiful. I love animals that are so ugly they're cute. Like those baby chicks. I love crooked stripes. I love imperfection. I think Lady's trying to tell you she's ready to roll. All right, we're out of here because Posy Pig has gone back to make another bed in the hay and her tail is just away again and she's looking perked up and she's looking perky and happy again. So, she's like, if I act something wrong, can the, I have food? Who, Lady? That, uh, yeah, I know, I swear. <laughs> Another way that late Posey could have got sick is because she was in heat recently and sometimes being in heat can allow bacteria to to enter. Who knows what happened, but she definitely had a little infection and she's doing better. She'll get her last shot today. What are you doing? Scratching your butt? Posey often spends her whole days up at this barn. I don't know why she does that, but all her water and all her food is down at the other barn. So I'm just going to give her her water up here. So she always has some place to drink. She has a little bed here too. She never goes to it though. Oh, Posey, that is how we get into trouble. Do you guys see how she drinks? She tips the bucket, she tips every bucket. That's why I put a small bucket, one that she can reach. No, that's not healthy. And she still tips them over. You are a brat, but she's feeling good, and that makes me happy. That makes me happy, Pose. I love you, Posey Pig. You're still my favorite. But today is Saturday, and we're gonna go and do our traditional back to school shopping. We haven't even done that yet. Gabby is getting ready for back to school. She needs some new shoes, probably some new clothes. I'm sure Sophie needs some stuff too. And this time we're waiting for Aunt Sophie. It's a perfect day to go shopping because it looks like it's going to rain again. And do you guys know, we did not have a drought this summer. There was not a single time this summer that it stopped raining. Look at our grass. It is so green. It's never this green. It's hours later, you guys. We have been shopping until we have been dropping. We were at the mall. We were at Walmart. We were at the dollar store. Uh, the girls are just gone in to get a few, like, supplies. Oh, man. 
it does not take long before hundreds of dollars is spent for back to school. Is it just me or do you guys like looking at the pig walking? <laughs> I love looking at him. He's got fl flies on him. I brought food for the babies. How, how we're gonna do it, I don't know. All right. Any more babies? And are those two okay? Oh my god, she's two? Two. Hold two. It. Well, you just picked it up and threw it everywhere. So. Like face planted in the all, all the other eggs. She's so good. She's like fine. Oh, it's oh so cute. that's the new one. So cute. I like the white one, the first one though. Oh, it's so cute. It's like a little chipmunk. It's gonna look like her. Look at her. Is this your baby? But actually, she's not the mom, so. Not she's gonna not? No. No. Well, we don't know. She adopted them. See if there's any more pipped. Everybody's fine. We just wanted to double check, but look at that first. But they My are. Dog wants to see them. They are so cute. Your dog's terrified of everything. Let's no, show she her. Likes them all. Molly, oh, come here. All right, let's check. Okay, like bring one. Molly in here. Sit. Aww. You like chickens. Oh, she does not like you. No. Why do we get the ones with the extra toes? They're cute. Like, they look like little owl faces. I like them. I think they're so cute. Yeah, yeah we're not going to be able to get rid of these ones. Yeah, those ones are staying. So, the problem is going to be that I... We can't put... We can't put chicken food on the ground anywhere because then the goats can get it. The goats can't eat chicken food. I think it's like toxic or really bad for them. And I don't want the cat to get like close to the babies. So I don't know where I'm supposed to. Oh, Posey! You're here, I was gonna tell you. That's the, nut. the last test to see if Posey's feeling good. If she shows up for dinner, then that's a good sign. But we're gonna go out there and we're gonna try and do her nails. Not even dinner. I know. That's early for dinner. All right, let's do their nails. So I need to start trimming my pig's nails, and I need to figure out a way to trim the boy's nails. My pig, who is super friendly and loving, is really good about getting her nails done, having her feet touched. I've made sure to do it a million times. Ooh, come on in here. You're going to have to help. No, I made sure to do it a million times. Touch her feet and make sure that she's all good. And she's let me cut a couple of them. As she gets bigger, it's going to be harder. She Ooh, thinks we're going to give her another there. needle. Come here, Posey. Come Why here. else would Gabby be down here? Let me see your feet. Just let me see your feet. I like to pet your feet. Just let me see your feet. Why are you going to be so fussy? Hey, you're my baby. She's lost a little bit of weight through this, though, so that worked out really well. Okay, everybody stay quiet. <laughs> so smart! She sees me pick them up. You're gonna be attacked by goats, by the way. Oh, okay, here, you hold that, and you give her little tiny bits while I do it. All right, so we try to bring her in. Go, Posey. I know we can do it, I just need better help, and I just feel like at this time of the day, we're all tired. It's the end of the day, we're all beat. Are you guys tired? They're like, wow, is it early dinner? I'm sleeping in again tomorrow, so you guys are going in late tonight. Literally, my favorite thing to do on weekends is to sleep in. So by sleeping in, I mean I wake up at like 6.30 or 7, and then I just like relax until, and then I come down around 7.30. Wait, let's see if this guy will even let us touch his feet. Because his feet need to be done worse. So... It's okay. Oh look, I got his foot. All right, it might not be too scary. It might not be too scary. I smell a smell though. Either it's him. Is it? I don't. I don't know. Let's go over here. And see if it gets stronger. Hopefully, it's him. Look at how bucky he looks. Does he look big enough to breed? I know I can cut their nails. I already cut some of Posey's when she was sick. And it was easy. And I have a couple of different tools. His might be a little harder. Like, 
harder as in like his nails may be a little harder. So I'm gonna try probably tomorrow, this weekend for sure. I wanna get it done going into fall. We've been going like crazy though all day and I know that the girls need to just sit down and have a rest. So I'm gonna try again later and I'm gonna get Sam to help. Although to be honest, the best farmer on our property, Sophie. Don't you know that